Mandibular incisors. The mandibular incisors are narrow in the mesiodistal dimension and broad facio-lingually. They may have one or two canals. In young patients, the outline form is triangular with the base incisally and the apex gingivally. As the pulp proceeds over time and the pulp horns disappear, the shape becomes more ovoid. In cases of attrition, the axis is extended towards the incisal edge. The initial outline form is established into the dentin and in the middle third of the lingual surface with a number one or number two round burr perpendicular to the lingual surface. When a depth of two to three millimeter is reached, the orientation of the burr is changed to be parallel with the long axis of the tooth. The pulp chamber is located by using a sharp endodontic explorer. The roof of the pulp chamber is removed completely using a number two round burr with an in and out motion. To establish a direct line access to the canal or canals and find a second canal, the axis is extended lingually using a tapered diamond burr. The lingual surface of the axis is explored for the presence of a lingual canal. A canal is now ready for cleaning and shaping.